sure. Today's video is going to be how to make a doll yoga studio. For this craft, you're going to need a doll, the bottom of a water bottle, extra cardboard, and this is the remaining part of those giant sticky note tabs. So that's where that's from. Paint brushes, a hot glue gun, and always be careful when you're using hot objects. Scissors, acrylic paint, string, Mod Podge, and toothpicks. Now flat toothpicks will also work, but this is what I had lying around. Craft foam and scrapbook paper. And you could use normal paper if you want to cut down on the cost, but I have never really used scrapbook paper that much for a project, so I'm excited to try it. Okay, so for my fountain, I'm going to be using this rock scrapbook paper. Clear plastic more cardboard, and Mod Podge. I started by cutting out a little, this shape, and then I also cut out what looks like a stack of staples, because this is what is the water is gonna come out of. So the first thing I'm gonna do is either color or paint them or cover them with paper. Okay, so after gluing it together, to cover this corrugated cardboard edge, I just use some hot glue. I use a very small amount, just enough to cover it, and just do that. And it's probably not going to look like it worked, but once you paint over it, it looks really nice. Alright, so this is what it looks like now. I think it looks really nice, but I do want to take out some of the details of the hot glue on the edges because I think it makes it look more homemade, which is great. It looks kind of like metal, and so I want to make it like a little bit metallic, so I'm going to just take some gold paint and just kind of dry brush it off. All right, so this is what it looks like. I think it looks really cool. It looks metal. I think it looks awesome. So the next thing I'm going to do is create the bottom where it the water will fall into. To do this, take a piece of cardboard and just kind of roll it up like so to make it round shaped. All right, so this is what I ended up with, and I'm going to just paint that the same way I painted this and glue it on. All right, so here it is. It looks really good, but it still doesn't have a bottom, which would be pointless if you were using a fountain. So I'm going to trace and cut out a piece to go there. And don't bother painting this. Just cover it with your rock paper. And I cut it with some extra so that I can kind of bend it up like this to make it look a little bit more 3D. Alrighty, and then all you have to do is just glue it on and then I had to open mine up so I'm gonna have to glue that back shut and this is what it looks like but we still need that water so what this is where your clear plastic comes in and then you're going to want to cut a piece of plastic that will fit in your little tray to be able to come down then just bend it so that it looks like it is falling off the little thing and it should look something like this. And now we're going to cover it in Mod Podge with a really thick layer. And then cut and trace the bottom again and on clear plastic and do the same thing with the Mod Podge. And I used a Sharpie just to make it easier to see. And I would definitely recommend waiting until you're done with everything down here to glue this shut because every time I try to put something new in, it just pops open. So I'm just not gonna try until I'm done. I also just colored with a little bit of blue marker on the water surfaces to make them tinted. Now, this will dry clear. It's just not completely dry yet, but this is what we're going for. Okay, so now it's time to make the last accessory, which is a gong, because you have to have a gong. You just have All right, so to start out, I've just cut the round parts off of these popsicle sticks. All right, so I started with my two pieces, and then for the remaining part of the gong, I'm actually gonna use hot glue sticks. So I'm gonna cut this one in half and then take another one and put it on top. And then use hot glue to hot glue your hot glue sticks together. All right, so here's the main structure. It's really nice. It's kind of bendable, but it now I need to make the actual gong. So what I'm going to do is take my water bottle bottom and just cut out the bottom part. Now I am going to paint it. All right, so now I'm going to glue the strings onto the gong, and I just glued them onto the back. Now what you want to do is take that and just loop the strings back over, and then glue them down, and you're done. All right, so I also cut and covered two pieces of cardboard, and also there was one side that I didn't cover because I had to cut it, 
So I'm going to start by adding the glue on that side and then the back side on which it will sit on the wall. Then just kind of stick it on. This will also help to form the room better because it's a little bit warped. And just hold it until it is completely dry. And ta-da, you have two awesome shelves that you can put whatever you want on. All right, so on the shelf or the dresser, I want to make one of those aromatherapy diffusers. So for this, you're going to need... So to make this, I'm going to be using some hot glue, craft foam in the color of your choice, and of course, a toothpick. Start by cutting your toothpick up. Then cut a strip of craft foam and glue it together in a cylinder shape. All right, so this is what my cup looks like, and then I'm just going to glue in all the toothpick parts. And this is what it looks like, and you can just set it on your shelves. And you can also use beads like that to make little flower vases. I also glued a bead on top of my fountain just to add a little decorative detail. But I feel like this wall over here is a little plain, so I'm going to cut out the letters relax and glue them on. All right, so you could have done that with stickers, but it wasn't working out for me, so I just wrote it on a piece of paper and then glued that on. And it looks really cute. It looks like a little sign, and it's just adorable. I also use the extra duct tape to make a frame, and I use the bottom of part of the calendar picture to just put a picture of some flowers in the frame. I didn't think it looked very good, so I actually changed it out, and I just drew a little picture, and now I'm just going to glue it right on to the wall. Ta-da! Now just add a few yoga mats, and the best part is when you're done, you can fold it up. Now to keep it closed, I just glued a bead on, and then I have my string, and it holds it shut. And ta-da! Also, I put a little yoga sign on here so that I know which room it is in case I make a lot more. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!